Hi, Leo. This is Born with a Veil. I'm doing a mini reading for you for May 11th, 2020 through December 2020. I will be putting out other videos. This is just a mini, okay? So let's see what's going on. Where you stand. These are my old cards. Uh, you got the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the High Priestess. Um... I feel that, Leo, when you go back to work or around the house, you're accident-prone, some of you, so please make sure that you watch knives, any sharp objects so you don't cut yourself, need stitches, or fall down, or whatever it may be, Leo. Uh, just be careful around the house or at work, okay? Going up the stairs. Uh, entertainment purposes only. Uh, the Knight of Cups. Um, there's been some deception around you, uh, Leo. You've been given it or somebody's been given it to you. And it's somebody that you know about that might have been uh, telling you lies or not telling the truth around you. It could be adults. It could be children. It could be your mate, uh, the high priestess. But I feel like you've been lying or somebody's been lying to you, Leo. Um, and I think it's somebody that's been around you because they're very ignorant. They think that you don't know about what they've been doing. They think you're dumb. They think you're very short-sightedness. Um, they think that you don't have a lack of understanding. It's almost like somebody's been trying to play you in a relationship or a friendship. They've been very selfish towards you. Okay? So watch out for that. Maybe you caught somebody, Leo, doing something they had no business doing or they caught you. Uh, you got the Page of Swords. Uh, you got the Five of Swords. And you got the Four of Coins. So remember, this year is about people being busted for the sneaky shit they've been doing. So uh, Page of Wands. There's an indecision that you have going on, Leo. Now, Leo, could you could have it in your chart or you could be a full-blown Leo. So there's somewhere in an indecision about maybe a job or a romance, three-way love affair, or a relationship, period, or a marriage getting engaged. Um, maybe somebody's not stable enough for you, Leo, at this time. Maybe it's hard for you to make a decision. Okay, maybe somebody's been gossiping about you, too. Um you feel like in a family matter, friendship, or relationship, there's an uncertain outlook. You don't know how far this relationship or how this is going to go. Um, you do have a weakness for this person or they have a weakness for you. Um, entertainment purposes only. I think some Leos um, have had some deaths in their family because of the virus. Um, and also, there's been some setbacks in your money. There's been some delays because of being uh, quarantined that some of you are working. Uh, some of you have to watch your money. Uh, now is the time to hold on to your money, okay, not to be spending it. And um, I think that, Leos, you need to start putting some money up to the side before this year is out. Uh, you've got the Queen of Coins. You've got the King of Wands. And you've got the Sun. So... I feel like there's some suspense around you. You're trying suspicion. I feel like you're trying to figure something out, okay? Uh, somebody's not, um, somebody's neglected their responsibilities around you. Um, maybe somebody's not doing something that you ask or somebody's living with you and they're not picking up the slack. Um, this person uh, you cannot trust. Uh, this is a very vicious person, so it could be somebody you're married to or living with. Um then you got the King of Wands. This person, this it's a man. Um, he's very dogmatic in his actions. He's very mean, very cruel. Uh, and he's always judging you, Leo. Uh, and then you've got the sun reversed. You're not very happy in this relationship, Leo. Not at all. You feel very lonely. Even though you're with someone, you're very lonely because they're an ass. Uh, maybe you uh, want to cut the marriage off, or if you're engaged, you're going to cut the engagement off, or have already. You're going to; these plans are canceled. Now, these plans could be canceled too because of the quarantine. Okay. Um. Let's see what else you have here, Leo. You've got the uh, Ten of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Fool. So I feel like you females, a lot of you have been crying. You've been in a lot of pain because of this person in your life have been causing you pain. Um, 
you spending a lot or you could be separated from them. You could be spending a lot of lonely nights for these last couple of months. It's been rough on you. Uh, you've been very disappointed. You've had a lot of grief and sorrow, but I do feel that there's some relationships suffering because of the quarantine or the shit's been going on before the quarantine ever happened. Um, you're not happy. So the eight of wands, there's going to be a sudden progress movement in this relationship, a swift activity. Some of these relationships are going to go downhill um, some of you are making a hasty made decision about the relationship. Um, and then some of you want answers within a relationship that you're is going to be delivered the full. Uh, some of you are going to be starting a new job. Uh, some of you have been going to school online. Um, there's unlimited possibilities after you figure out what you're going to do with this relationship. The doors are going to, if you get rid of this person, the doors are going to open up better for you with the full, um, there's an obsession here within this relationship. Somebody could be stalking you or there's obsession or you have an obsession, but there definitely is an obsession in this relationship. And somebody's not being thoughtful in this relationship. I'll pull a couple more for you. Um, then you've got the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So there's a definitely a change coming within a relationship. You don't feel stable in this relationship. Somebody's wearing a false heart in this relationship and it's inconsistency. Nobody's making a movement here. You got the Ten of Cups. Once you get rid of this person, Leo, a new person is going to come into your life with the Ten of Cups. Um, you're going to have a lot of joy and pleasure, happiness. You're going to be able to live your life. Um, and people will support you. Now, there's another thing going on here, Leo, too, that uh, some of you are pregnant. You found out you're pregnant in quarantine. Um, some of you don't know what to do and then some of you are happy about it and some of you do have a child with this person and um, somebody's willing to commit and even marry. So your reading is a little bit all over the place. Um, this is just a general. So there's a lot of things going on with Leo since his quarantine. Um, but definitely, Leo, there's a lot of changes in the relationship, good and bad, okay? So I wish you the best. If you'd like to contact me, bornwithavail at yahoo.com or leave a comment down below. My readings for 30 minutes are $40. An hour is $80. Um, and a 10 card is $25, okay? So God bless you. And um, just think about what you've been going through through this, through this quarantine. Is the relationship worth it? Or is it worth it to, to continue or discontinue? Okay, good luck and God bless. And thank you, Cross Watchers. Please like, share, and subscribe.